Right, hi everyone. So, um, this is the start of my um, bug out bag uh, videos. Um, today I'm just going to concentrate on this little module here, um, which goes onto this, which is my main overall bag. Uh, things like torches, water bottles, great big tarp on top. Um, and also kit it out with all the other bits and pieces anyway. Uh, it literally go on the back down there. You can see I've got shed loads of like magazine pouches on there which I got very cheap uh, from an army surplus store. And hanging over the back I've got this complete army jacket. So if you do need to drop everything, you've got you can literally you could stuff this full of stuff and run for it. But this module here would go on the bottom, so you can see I've got another water bottle there and I've got all sorts of manners of crap hanging off of it. Right, so this is just my bag, uh, the wife's got her bag out bag there which is very similar, you can see just uh, her one on the side and then the kids have got little bags as well. Uh, just show you, luggable loo, all sorts of, uh, those going to be the kids emergency bits and yeah, it's generally bits in there. So, unfortunately the wife's coming home soon, so I can't carry on because um, she found out I had knives as well. She would really not be too happy, although it is pretty much a key essential. Right, so what have I got on this? This is, if you need to ditch your pack, very basics for anything. And this is generally it, although I've got like a... Yeah, you know, just like a, a ground mat thing there as well. Um, uh, I'll basically you can stick on if you did need to take it. Uh, just, just like an eight, seven or eight pound knife off of Amazon, just extra old thing. It's, it's nice and fat, um, so you could you know get a big piece of wood and split logs and stuff if you need to. Uh, just a little folding, little folding shovel in there with a little pickaxey bit on it. I think it's even got a compass on that one. That might even be the wife's one. Um, right, then, as so you can see, I'm starting doing clips. Clip. Um, God, can I get these zips undone? It's not the best of bags, these, but this um, this bag here is a 50 litre um, uh, sort of molly camo bag off of. Um, off of eBay, it came with one of these, but a slightly smaller one. And then I found these in the fishing section on on eBay. I thought, brilliant. Right, so just going through here, magnifying glass, starting fires, some camo face paint, just a little tiny, little tiny torch as well. Right, just moving into the top here, what everyone should have a nice big fat multi tool. I think that was probably about seven, eight pounds, something like that, just for a Rolson, Rolson one. So doesn't cost the earth but it has a fair few little pieces you know bits and pieces on it so yeah there we go on that one uh, if I can get the zip undone and uh, struggling <coughs> yeah, that's it. right so what have we got in here uh, silene light sticks uh, glow sticks um, whistle Pencil sharpener, uh, you think you can sharpen things for traps, you can make tinder, uh, you can even sharpen your pencil as well, it's amazing. Uh, just, just think of all the things, you know, you can make weapons, a teeny tiny knife. Always worth having a backup of everything. There we go in the top there. So I'll just chuck these things in as I go, because like I said, the wife's going to be home very soon and I will get shot if she sees some of this. She knows I've got most of it, but uh, I should get that little... little Right, a water straw, so generally one of the ones you can screw on a bottle um, or just stick into water and start drinking. Uh, that, that was off of Amazon, I think that was about six, no, I think that was about eight pounds and I got two of them, so the wife's got one. Full blanket, as you can see all these things are sort of in plastic as well and stuff. Uh, 100 foot or 30 metres of, oh god, paracord, bug spray. Going to need it for a little while at least anyway. Right, as you can see I've got this, all of this, in a waterproof bag as well. Um, right, so I've got this little survival tin, which I've had for years. Never really used it, funny enough. Um, I've then got 
an Esbit fire, which I've modified. I've put as many little fire bits in it as possible, and some cotton wool buds, tinder, and a lighter. Uh, so everything you need to start a fire within that one little block. So if you are stuck, you've got something. Little teeny tiny radio. Not that I'm expecting there's going to be any radio channels going after this anyway. Um, right, and here we've got. I've got. No, instead of just getting the waterproof matches, just literally some little blocks of tin um, matches snapped off with the, the lighting stick, all in the Kinder Egg. Lovely. Uh, just for a bit of help, just some little candles. Um, magnesium fire striking stick, about a pound fifty odd on eBay or whatever, or Amazon. Some AAA batteries, just one use those ones. Uh, a little compass. This is an extra one. Um, 20, no, 31 litre bottles of water purification tabs from Oasis. Uh, so there you go, you've got 30 litres instantly. Um, the aim would be to take the steel water bottle so you can boil. And then more of these little white tabs which uh, explode into um, big, big tab. Um, well, what wouldn't they explode into? They not explode. They grow into like a big towel. So, you know, you can use them at least. Right, so that's all of them there. So, next, we've got the two side compartments. So, I've got a shemog, filter water through it, wear it on your head, keep your head out in the sun. Uh, also, as you can see, it's a sort of camo one, so with everything, it's all aimed to be hidden. And just a pair of gloves, just garden gloves, uh, because at the end of the day, if you're chopping wood, this, that, the other, do you want to get an infection? And the answer is, you're stupid if you say yes. Right, and then on the other side here, I've got another pair of trauma shears, because they're just absolutely brilliant. Uh, foil emergency blanket. I have, ooh, foil sleeping bag. Sorry for the accent. Um, and I've got a mosquito head net. Um, oh, yeah. And, of course, obviously I've got the little mini SAS survival guide book in there. Because that is key. That's got first aid information, yeah, you know, everything you could basically need, um, just in one book. You know, traps, etc., etc. In the main bag, I've got other books and stuff as well. Uh, so that that is that is one part of my system. It's modular for a reason, and that is you can you can grab what you can. Uh, that pack there weighs about 16 kilos, and that's that's without food, clothes, and water. So. It will probably get up to about 20, 25, uh, but at the end of the day, um, yeah. Right, so I'll try and record a bit of that in a second as well, hopefully. So we'll see how it goes.